Hello, everybody. Um, so I, I'm a little bit frazzled. I'm, um, I was doing, after two months of no media in our house for the kids, um, I started putting on a show for them during the Facebook Live. Um, and that was just causing all the upheaval of why we stopped doing media in the first place. So I, um, let's see if I can switch this around. I, uh, is it going to do it? I set them up with painting some kindness rocks today. And then, of course, um, not of course, I shouldn't say that. And then, um, I'm sorry. And then, uh, while they were happening, some of, like, the tubes are brand new. And then, you know, of course, paints blopped everywhere. And I'm like, I gotta get on live. So, here I am. Here we are coming off of yesterday. Um, hello, Emily. Um, coming off from yesterday, we are uh, halfway towards a, a full moon. So we're getting through. We're at a, uh, a waxing. We're waxing right now. So we're gaining momentum towards this moon. How are you guys feeling? How is your tracking sheet going? What's going on with the feelers? Good morning, Krista. Um, what's going on with the feelings? I So I'm going to share what happened yesterday. Um, and uh, But let's first share calendar. How's your calendar? Day nine. We're like, we're getting through day nine. So exciting. So uh, please snap a picture of your calendar, snap a picture of your journal, your paper, wherever you're doing your 30 day tracking, snap a picture of it so that we can all support each other and like cheer each other on, whether you're on day one or you're on day nine or anywhere in between. Let's um, keep each other motivated and supported to really see how this can create dynamic change in us. Hello, Gail. Um, so yesterday, yesterday, right after the Facebook Live, we hopped in the car and we were heading up to the herbalist for my son. Um, I, I yes, so like so many emotions. Um, so, yesterday, on our way up, we were driving past, and I look, I like felt it first. So I felt this like huge tension, and it brought me immediately back to when I was about 24, no, probably before that, when I was, like, relationships with that I'd had before of just really high stress of like verbally, emotionally abusive, this like huge flood came through me and I looked over and there was a girl standing on the side of the road with this guy who wasn't saying anything angry, but it was like I read the entire emotional feeling situation in a second. And I went, okay, don't pull over unless it, you can stay in the flow doing it. And so immediately that right after there was a turnout, I turned around and I drove past him again and I looked at the girl and I saw her and it was like she looked at me with these eyes. Hey, Alicia, I saw this girl and she looked at me like pleading, please help me. You know what I mean? It was like that energy of like, I, I'm so trapped. And so I went around the block and of course that block went around in a full circle to re right back um, at the street. And she was about... I don't know, maybe a hundred feet away from me, from where I was parked. I already had my window down. Hello. Um, and I already had my window down and I looked at her and I said, do you need a ride? I didn't yell to her. I said it just like that. And she went and she just started walking to me and the guy's like, oh, that's messed up. Blah, blah, blah. And of course I have my kids in the car and I'm like, Spirit, just say, like, surround this car, allow her to get in safely, allow him to be completely planted to the ground. He couldn't move. He just could, like, say what he wanted to say. And she got into the car, and she sat down, and you could, she just kind of, like, turned, not into a puddle of tears, but like a puddle of relief. You could tell that her whole body was just so tight, and she was just holding everything in to protect herself, right? And she sat down. And I just like, I didn't understand it. And it took me all day of being 
very angry. I was angry all day yesterday. And today I feel very soft. I feel very vulnerable. I feel very loving and connected. But yesterday I didn't know how to process what had happened. I had see I saw this girl, I helped her, and she said, I've been in these situations over and over and over again, and nobody has ever helped. All right, sorry guys, it might have glitched for a second. My mom always calls me while I'm on Facebook Live. Isn't that funny? Um, so it might glitch again because she usually calls like three times and, and when I don't answer. Um, so she said nobody has ever helped me. And it was like, oh, yeah, I know. I know. I've been there. You don't know what to say because you feel like you're the one who do doesn't deserve, right? Um, and it was like, I know, love. You're the one who feels like you don't deserve anything better than what you're getting right now. And so you continuously just search for love in any way that you can. And you end up finding it in these guys who don't have a capacity to love. And so I gave her my card when I got to the spot where I was taking her off. Hey, Raven. Um, I gave her my card and I said, call me anytime. And if you actually would like to heal from these repetitive behaviors, I would be happy to help you with that too. So, um, and this all stemmed, it was really interesting. I got an email from one of the coaches that I follow, just an email, and she had seen this little boy get absolutely crushed and she didn't do anything. And I, as I was reading the email, I went, would I do something? Would I just sit there? And I really didn't know. I didn't know whether I would do anything differently in her situation. And it was really amazing that the universe aligned everything so perfectly for me to be in that exact situation to show whether I would do something or not. And um, so that happened. And then throughout the whole day, I was just getting more and more angry. I was getting more sad. I was getting more frustrated. And I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to, I didn't, I, I didn't feel like I could release it. So it kept coming out. I kept yelling. I kept getting frustrated. And then finally, after I put the kids to bed and I fell asleep and I woke up, I went, oh shit, I've got to deal with this. <laughs> Dang it! I've gotta, I've gotta dive, I've gotta dive in, cause I can't, I do not want to stay in this anger. I, I would rather feel it fully than have this continue for who knows how long, right? And this is a, often time what I share with the moms that I work with. Do you want to live just a steady flow of frustration, continuously pushing down those feelings, or do you want to actually dive in and deal with them and handle them? Feel them fully so you don't have to feel those same feelings again. So I do my own work with myself. I, I, I can. I'm, you know, we can all do our own work with ourselves. Sometimes we need support in doing it, but we're all capable of diving deep. Sometimes we need a little bit of support and help in figuring how to do that. Um, and so as this, um, as this, ah, um, as this was, going through, I went into the shower and tears just started pouring out. I just started crying and I realized it was so healing and it was so interesting because I went, I don't even know what I'm, I don't even know where these tears are from. And it brought me back to a memory of being three years old and my mom asking me, why are you crying? And I said, I don't know. Hey, Kayleen. Um, and I said, I don't know why I'm crying. I just feel everything. And at the time, of course, I didn't know that I could literally feel everything. I could feel every body, every person, every being. I could feel everybody's crap that was around me. And I felt it fully. And I could feel all of their pain, all of their sadness. And I didn't know how to even handle it. Hey, Nick. Um, and so as at three years old, I'm just crying everybody else's tears because I can feel them and they have cut off from them. And so at that moment last night, I went, oh, this, this is like a remembering. This is a remembering. And um, 
you know, oh, you say, and uh, so to go back to that story, Gail, you said out of the mouth of babes. Out, so while we were, before we picked up the girl, um, I went around and Zion's like, what are you doing, mom? We're not going the right way. I'm like, this girl's in trouble and I need to save her. He's like, well, why haven't you said anything yet? And I was like, uh, and he's all, don't be shy, mom. Come on. We got places to go. <laughs> so he totally like made me say, like connect with her and say it. If it wasn't for Zion, I don't know if I would have been so brave, but, um, Yes. So, I mean, even as if we allow ourselves to listen to our inner children and our own children, they are going to guide us to what needs to be healed. So as I remembered all that pain, it, oh my gosh, it opened like a floodgate of being able to feel all the sadness from my teenage years of being in just shitty relationships of with guys who didn't give a crap about me. It gave me all the memories of like being in these situations where everything just was so intense and I felt everybody's emotions except for mine. <sighs> right? How often do us intuitive emotional beings able to feel everybody else's emotions? And this came up quite a few times tracking everybody's rhythm of I can feel everybody else's emotions affect me. Yes, they do, and yet we can't even feel our own emotions most of the time. So, after I got that all out, it was such, like, I was so raw. <laughs> and I'm still pretty raw this morning, I'm sure you could tell. I'm pretty raw in just my, wow, just my ability to love and see myself as who I am. And that's really what I realized is this the whole path of this whole journey is for all of us to just be a little bit more gentle with ourselves feel the feelings they feel shitty feel them anyway get rid of them so that they don't have to keep coming back into your life feeling them all day every day right so when my husband came home my husband came in the door I'm not kidding you and he said Oh my gosh, I was in a situation today and it brought back all the memories from when I was little. And I went, what? You know, I'm like, I had a crazy experience of that too, just like this whole day. He's like, I was so angry, but I realized all I was was sad. And he goes, and then I realized that every time I get sad, I'm actually supposed to get angry and I can't feel my emotions properly. And he's saying all this and I'm like, Wow, we just had a completely mirrored um, revelation today. And he was talking, and then he went on to say, he's like, I get it. I get the work that you're doing. For the first time, I see how important it is for people to heal so that they can feel. He goes, that never made sense to me. Why would I want to heal? He goes, I'm still not ready. <laughs> Which... I went, that's okay. You acknowledged that that's there. You know what I mean? It's not that I know that my, that working with me is not for everybody. Everybody is not quite there yet, right? Not everybody wants to dive in deep. And, um, when he, um, uh, when he realized that, um, that he just needed to be sad it allowed him to feel and it allowed him to know that he had a, sh a memory come up that reminded him that he has a lot of sadness and if he wasn't in that situation and he wasn't able to connect with his inner child which he doesn't do very often um, because it's really scary for him. He's like, if I open up this, if I open up to being sad, I don't know if I'll be able to stop. You know what I mean? And so he was able to like tap in enough to recognize that there's so much sadness there. And yet he goes, you know, I'm not, I'm not there yet. I'm not ready yet. So and that's okay. We don't all have to heal. But what he can bring is the awareness of where it's coming from. So...
I'm going to step inside real fast because the trash man came. Um, and so allowing ourselves to really feel is so vital to everything. Our, our entire health, our entire being. Um, I realize that a big part of our parenting journey is not about teaching our children anything. Whoa! Oh, they made an entire, so now I'm trapped. I can't go in there. They made a trap. Um, yes, Alicia, yeah, because you don't, yeah, because you don't know the full depths of what's in there, or you do know the full depths of what's in there. Okay. Um, or you do know the full depths that are there, and you don't even want to begin the excavation of it, right? Um, it seems really scary. So it makes perfect sense of why some of us can dive in a little bit deeper and how some of us are not ready yet, and that is okay. So um, as we go through this journey, as we go through this healing together, um, I allow you to feel as much as you're willing. And some of us are going to be able to start feeling a lot and seeing a lot and, and becoming aware of a lot, while others aren't quite ready, but feel what you can. Let, let everything come to the surface as it is. Because our, our minds will not give us more than we can handle, if that makes sense. If something comes up, allow just that feeling and the, just that memory that it is attached with and heal just that and tell your higher self your consciousness god spirit whoever you need i only want to deal with this one memory please be gentle with me and allow myself to only heal this one aspect Mama. and it will happen so um big feelings over this time as you become more aware recognize these big feelings and uh let yourself heal and grow all right peace and blessings to all of you um yes alicia pm me anytime email me anytime connect with me anytime um oh and 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 uh there is a brand new ultimate monthly rhythm planning guide um it is free i put it in the pinned post in the Facebook group, so grab that. Um, it's all new, even if you join the retreat, this is a completely different planning guide with an all what we've been talking about Mama. and sharing. So um, connect with Mama. me whenever you need to. Mama, 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 Mama. And uh, Mama. I will see you guys soon. Peace and blessings.